Part of the reason for rising gas prices is rising tension with Iran. Tehran today cut off oil shipments to Britain and France, a response to the tough sanctions against Iran over its nuclear program. Here's Elizabeth Palmer. Iran's Revolutionary Guards started war games this weekend in the country's central desert. They're meant to send a message to the world that Iran is ready for, as its foreign minister put it, any worst-case scenario. In other words, an attack by Israel. But in an interview broadcast today, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey, said that the U.S. is against a military strike. We think that it's not prudent at this point to, to decide uh, to attack Iran. I mean, that's, that's been our counsel to our allies, the Israelis, well known, well documented. Last week, Iran's president said again that Iran's nuclear program is for peaceful purposes only. Few Western politicians believe that. But for the moment, they argue that bombing Iran's many nuclear installations would only slow the program. Britain's Foreign Secretary, William Hague, supports instead further tough diplomacy. I think Israel, like everybody else in the world, should be giving a real chance to the approach we've adopted of very serious economic sanctions and mm. diplomatic pressure and the readiness to negotiate. Sanctions led by the United States are starting to bite. Businesses in Iran have a hard time getting international financing and the price of food and essential goods is rising fast. The price of meat, say Tehran shoppers, has doubled in three months. Iran is also wrestling with restrictions to its oil sales, restrictions brought about by sanctions. Tonight, there are signs the pressure may, just may, be working. Even as the war games got underway, Iran's leaders offered to reopen negotiations on their nuclear program and to meet in Tehran with inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency tomorrow and Tuesday. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.